Imagine a world where everything can be made exactly as you want it, at the push of a button. An invention that can make whatever your imagination sees, hears, or drives. This technology could be bigger than the internet, bigger than the industrial revolution. And it all begins with printers? But not the kind that belch out documents. These 3D printers go way beyond paper and ink. Abe Reichenthal's company makes all kinds of 3D printers. We have actually seven different printers and about 100 materials. Waxes, metals, rubber-like materials, plastics, and composites. Now even complicated car parts can be printed. The only traditional way to make something that has all these sections and partitions in it would have been to build it in sections and then either weld it or screw it or fasten it together. And with 3D printing, the entire complex assembly can be, can be made in a single part with no labor involved. It all works like something out of Star Trek. We digitize you. We bring it into a software app that slices you digitally into tiny little slices. And then we replicate you one layer at a time by depositing the material on a build tray and fusing each successive layer to itself until you get something as beautiful as this. Right now, this is about the biggest commercially printed object, the bumper on a mid-sized sedan. But these cars need new parts as fast as they can destroy them. So Thomas Delange, head of aerodynamics at Penske Racing, is taking 3D printing to the next level. NASCAR's known for beating and banging, um, cars hitting each other, bending sheet metal. We, uh, we get through a lot of cars a year. It's Delange's job to rebuild, retool, and redesign an ever better race car. This 3D printed air filter system is now used by race car drivers so they can breathe cleaner air in the cockpit. For us, there's a, there's a race that goes on every day all through the year, and that's to try and develop the cars quicker than our competitors. A tenth or even sometimes a hundredth of a second can make, make all the difference. 